Well, hello again, ladies and gents. Um, I wanted to do another video on something slightly sort of away from virtual tours and the technical side of photography. Um, focus more on managing your photography business. My business has been running now for five, just over five years, almost six years. And when I first started, I really, really struggled keeping on top of leads and uh, sort of shoots and invoices and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, so I looked into many, many, many different pieces of software, CRM software, which is customer relationship management software. And I came across one called Studio Ninja and I haven't stopped using it since. It's been absolutely fantastic. What it basically does is it enables you to, first of all, embed a contact form on your website. Um, contact forms, sometimes they get used, sometimes they don't. I think the majority of uh, sort of inquiries I get come over email. Uh, for some reason, people prefer to send an email to an email address as opposed to filling out a form. However, um, the option is there for you. Uh, so what happens is someone will fill the form out on your website and then uh, that lead automatically comes into Studio Ninja and then you can build on it from there. Um, you can add in email workflows, you can uh, send invoices, you can send quotes, people can make payments as well by credit or debit card through the invoice itself um, or if they want to pay by bank transfer then they can click on a button it shows and it will show the details that they need to use to pay you. Um, and there's also analytics built into it as well. So you can see, you know, uh, where your leads are coming from, whether they're coming from, you know, a Facebook inquiry, Google, telephone, cold call, cold email. You can set all of these up individually yourselves. So um, if you are looking to get something to make your business run a bit smoother, in fact, a lot smoother, uh, then carry on watching and we're going to have a look at the software in a second. I'm hoping it's going to be a reasonably quick one-ish, um, but there's quite a lot to go through. So um, let's get cracking. Okay, so here we are on the Studio Ninja login page. Uh, I've already got all of my credentials entered here, so I'm just going to click sign in and that's going to take me straight to my dashboard. Okay, so this is one of the reasons why I love Studio Ninja is because it is very, very clearly laid out. It's really, really easy to navigate. Um, you've got all these different tiles that you can choose from um, coming down here. So you've got your top section, uh, which I believe always stays at the top here, which will show you how many leads you've currently got in. Um, as we're at the beginning of the year, I don't have any in as yet. Um, hoping to have quite a few in by the end of next week. Um, and then you've got your shoots that have been booked in, the payments that you've received over the year, or you can do it over the month, uh, month to date, last 30 days or last seven days. And then at the end, you've got the revenue comparison. So this will basically compare your revenue over the previous years, okay? Um, so the other tiles that you have here, you've got all of your upcoming shoots. Uh, so I love this when they put this in here. Time is money, your calendar is empty. Get off your butt. Um, don't worry, I am. Uh, but it's, it's just it's really, really nice to have an overview of, um, of your upcoming shoots and the jobs with tasks as well, which I'll explain to you later on. Uh, you've also got a, an overview of all of your overdue and upcoming payments and then your most recent leads as well here. Okay. Um, I think you can, yeah, you can drag and drop these around to change them around if you want to. Um, and yeah, you've also got your lead sources uh, because, but because there's no leads in, you know, for this um, year to date. Uh, it's empty, but it will basically show you a pie chart of, you know, where all of your leads have come from. Um, and then you've got clients here, which I'll have to blur out. Uh, but this is basically just gives you a list of all of your clients. Um, and then you've got leads. And that basically just gives you a list of your leads and then jobs, calendar. So the great thing with this is you can actually integrate it with your own calendar. Uh, I integrate it with Google Calendar, which I've, I'm not sure, I think that might be the only one. Um, I don't know, uh, but we can check in a second. Um, and then you've got payments. So this basically gives you an overview of all of your payments, uh, whether they're paid, whether they're unpaid. So if I click on unpaid, there's nothing there. And then the paid ones is basically just going to show me um, all of my payments that have been that have been paid. 
Um, if I come into settings, now this is where Studio Ninja really, really, really shines. Um, so let me just take you back to exactly how this is used. So as a, as a CRM, it's designed to help you from the beginning of the you know, booking process to the end, okay? So as I mentioned before, you can put a contact form on your website for people to fill out. However, um, if they don't fill out the contact form and they send you an email instead or they call you or whatever it may be, you just come up to your leads here and then click add new lead. So let's do that now. So uh, let's say, um, I won't enter any client names, I'm just gonna add a new client. So I will say, right, this client is a company, yes. Because I deal mostly with companies myself. So let's just say, um, Nick's Cafe. And then, four, five. Okay, so phone number, and then name. Up today, and so on and so forth. You don't have to put all of these um, in, but and then the address you can put the address in as well if you want. You can also put client notes here as well, which is quite handy. Um, so you know, if you've if you've if you've met them somewhere and they've asked you to do something specific, you can put it in there uh, just as a reminder. Um, so then we click save client profile. And then we can say, right, what is the lead? So let's say that um, you know, Nicholas wants me to do a, uh, a also let's say a virtual tour. That's what I do most of, virtual tour. So job type you've got here. So obviously my, my primary one or my primary work is virtual tours. So I've got that set as my primary, um, but you've, you can do all sorts of other different types of, uh, of jobs as well. Um, workflows, I'll show you a bit later um, how, how those work, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna choose virtual tour workflow and then lead source. So I can choose that here. So let's say this was done via Google. Uh, shoot date. Um, at this stage, we can say no date has been confirmed yet. Okay, so you know nothing's going to appear in the calendar or anything like that. Um, but if you want, say if we have booked a shoot in, uh, let's say it's going to be on the 14th of January from 11 till 2 p.m. Okay, so we can then put in a location. So let's do, just choose anything. There we go. So the great thing with the location is that all of this information, if you have it plugged into your calendar, this will all pull through in the notes to your calendar. So when you set off on your journey to go to your shoot, just open up your calendar. If you use um, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or anything like that, you can literally just click on the calendar location and bang, the, the, uh, it, will, it will navigate you to that address. Okay, uh, and then we just click on save lead. Okay, so now what it's done is it's created a, a main sort of lead page for us. So the workflow on the left hand side here is one that I have pre-made for my virtual tour shoots and these are completely customizable. Okay, so um, with a workflow you can get it to do specific tasks for you. Okay, so if I just click on the plus icon here, so if I wanted to add something in here, um, we could say, right, add a new workflow task. I want to add a, a to-do reminder. Um, you can also do an automation. So automation includes uh, sending emails, questionnaires as well. So if you're a wedding photographer or a portrait photographer or something like that, um, you'll be able to send a questionnaire to your client maybe a week before the shoot date. Um, just to make sure that you're covering all the bases um, and then also contracts as well. So you can uh, automatically sign, um, assign a task to send them the contract. However, that can be done um, in a different section. Um, so you can also add an additional shoot which will appear in your workflow. So say, for example, if you were doing an engagement shoot, 
Uh, you've already got this, this lead is for the wedding, but if you wanted to book in an engagement shoot before the wedding date, then you can do that. And then you can add uh, an appointment in as well. So if you had a meeting with a client or whatever it may be, um, you can have an appointment. I mean, that could even be maybe a Zoom, a Zoom meeting or something like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's say we wanted to add an automation. We could say uh, set prep email. And then we say choose an action. So, so this task sends an email and then we can start writing out our email here. So let's get ready for the shoot. And then this message could say something along the lines of dear, and you can insert a variable. So uh, these can all be done from templates as well. Um, I've got quite a few personal ones in there, so I'm not going to open that up. Um, but you can create a template from, um, and then just choose it from here as, as opposed to sort of manually doing this every single time. So let's say, dear client first name, um, use something on the lines of, I look forward to our shoot. Please get everything ready for the day. Yeah, something like that, okay? And then from here, you can say send automatically on due date. So it's due one day after the lead is created, after the job is accepted, um, before the shoot date, um, after the shoot date, or after a previous task. So what we could say is this one would probably be, uh, say, three days before the shoot date okay um, or if you wanted to send this email after so three days after the previous task has been finished so um, here job complete uh, you can see down here there's the final task so what we could do is we could send a thank you email automatically after this job has been after this has been ticked uh, just to say thank you very much for booking with me uh, maybe send them a referral code or something like that. So um, you can see how how this all how this all fits together. Um, it's an incredibly easy to use system. But for my workflow here, I've basically got you know when, when the lead comes in, um, are they interested? Yes or no? Um, yes. Then it moves to awaiting booking, and then you've got uh, job accepted. There you go. So accepted once a contract is signed or an invoice is paid, and then it moves on to the shoot date itself. And then after the shoot date, you've got post-production. So it's all nice and color coded down the side here. So it reminds me that I've got the shoot to edit. Then the first draft is sent, waiting response. Um, and then I'll make any changes that are required. And then the tour's complete. Do they need a Google Street View tour? So this is all reminding me, you know, step by step, you know, what I need to do. I mean, I've done so many now that I do all these automatically and then just end up ticking them all off anyway. But, um, you know, it's just nice to have it there as a, as a workflow reminder. And um, now, if you wanted to add a new quote, you can say, you can either have a pick and choose quote. So that will basically allow clients to choose different packages or, or products, or you can have a fixed quote. Okay, I generally tend to use the fixed quotes because I've, you know, I've generally already discussed the pricing with the client uh, and they've said, right, okay, yeah, let's get it booked in. So if I just click on fixed quote, then it brings us onto the quote screen. Okay, so you've got all of your job details at the top here. You can add an introduction into the quote as well, which is just a nice bit of personalization on there. Um, and then you come onto here and you choose your, choose your product um, so let's just choose video filming, for example. Um, so in here you can put your description. Um, and with video filming, I could add something else in, maybe add the editing in as well, if I've already previously agreed the editing time that it's gonna take me. So we've agreed that I'm going to be doing video work for three hours. Um, and then the editing I've told them is going to take four hours. There we go. So then we've got our total at the bottom, um, and then we can also add other things on like uh, travel costs. So we could say it's going to be 65 miles travel, and there we go. So moving further down, you have the option to add a discount if you've previously agreed a discount. 
Um, and I think this is quite a nice thing to do, um, especially for referrals and things like that. So you've, you've, you've got um, your discounts that you can pre, you know, sort of pre put in there. And, but we'll just delete that for now. And then the other thing you can do is you can assign a payment schedule. Okay, now this is really, 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 really useful because again, it takes the pressure off you as the photographer um, to sort of chase people up for payment. So you can say, right, I want you to pay a 20% deposit now. I mean, these are all custom. So these are set up in the, in the settings panel, but we can go through that shortly. Um, but the custom one that I have set up is 14 days after the shoot date. So the total amount is due then. 20% um, deposit, and then the balance is due two weeks after the shoot date, um, seven days after, and then so on and so on. So, or you can just say, right, it's, it's due now, it's due, you know, once I've sent you the invoice, okay? So let's just do what I normally do, which is 14 days after shoot date. And you can see here um, that it's automatically set that date. If I change it to seven days, there we go, so it changes here, okay? Now you can say, do you want to add a contract? So we'll say yes. And then this is where you would add your questionnaire. So if you wanted to add it to, to again, especially for wedding photographers, you know, if you wanted to get the questionnaire filled out right at the very, very beginning, then that's where you do this. Um, I've got a sort of a 360 virtual tour pre-shoot questionnaire that I've got, that I sometimes send out to clients, just saying, you know, have you got this ready? Uh, you know, are the windows all clean? Is the floor all clean? So on and so forth. But I generally send that out um, a few days before the shoot. Okay, and then here at the very bottom, you've got automatically generate an invoice once the quote is accepted. So once they've accepted this quote, it will automatically draw up an invoice for them. Okay, um, so another feature you've got here, which is really great, is you can save this as a quote template. So if I click on that, um, you can basically either overwrite one that you've already, I haven't got any quote templates yet myself, um, but you can either overwrite one that you've currently got or you can add a new template, all right? Uh, and that's really, really handy is if, if you've got repeat customers that you're, you know, you're always invoicing, you can just create a quote template and then not have to fill any of this out. Um, so let's click save quote. Okay, so that's the next step done. Um, you can see here it says not sent. Again, it's all really, really nice and visual. Um, you can preview the quote. So if I click on preview, this is what the, cl the client is going to see. Um, this is all customized in the settings area. So, you know, again, it's, not, it's nice, you know, to have your everything nice and branded, everything nice and clean for them. But at the top here, they can see they've got one quote to accept and one contract to sign. Okay, so if we come down here, we can review our quotes. We've got all of the information here. Um, and then we've got our overview of the shoot itself and the costs break, broken down. And at the bottom, we've got our payment schedules saying that it's gonna be due on the 28th of January, which is in 22 days time. And then we'd say, okay, that's absolutely great. I'm going to accept that. and then it prompts them to move on to review and sign the contract. So if we click on that, we've got the contract here. We can move down and then read all the terms and conditions and then click sign, submit. And it says, thank you for signing the contract. Um, next step, you can click here to pay straight away, um, or you can just click out of it, like so. Okay, there we go, and it puts a nice little signature in there. Okay, and then finally, um, they can click on the invoice and see the invoice at here, and then at the bottom, it gives them the option to pay by credit card or pay by bank transfer. Okay, so. That is the invoice, uh, the quoting and invoice workflow. Um, if we click on jobs, we'll see here that that job has come into our section here and we've got a workflow progress. So this bar will advance across, you know, as you go through your shoots, uh, or the shoot, I should say. Um, and then in the calendar, you can see that it's put the shoot into our calendar here. And then payments. There we go, so we've got an unpaid payment um, that's there waiting to be paid, okay? Now, if I click on settings, 
it's, it would take me a long, 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 long time to go through all of this, I think. Um, but I'm going to go through as much as I can in the interest of time. I don't want to keep you guys too long. Um, but you've got your global settings here, which is basically all about your company, uh, your branding, so your logo and the header that we saw earlier on the client portal. You know, you can, up, up, you can upload all of that and customize it. Um, you can add more users to your account. So if you have a, a second photographer uh, that you work with, um, you can add them into the account as well so they can actually access um, the, the shoots themselves. You can limit what they can see as well, which is really handy. Um, and then they do a referral as well. Uh, speaking of which, what I will do is I will put my code up at the bottom here um, and that will give you 20% off if you do choose to sign up with Studio Ninja. Uh, so you're welcome. Um, and then on the right here, you've got your sort of the fundamentals. So these can be sort of, you know, collapsed and, and opened up, um, but you've got your currency and taxes. So this is where you basically, if I click on that, in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll click on that and then I'll move down this way here. So you've got your currency and taxes, um, if you are VAT registered or tax registered, then you can give your tax a name and then put the percentage rate in here. You've got date, time and calendar. So you've got calendar integration. So yeah, it says here, sync your Google calendar with Studio Ninja. And then you've got your time zone settings and week and date and time settings. Uh, email, um, you can integrate your own email in here as well. I've got my Gmail account integrated. Um, so basically when I send an email through, through this portal here and I send them a quote, it comes from my email address, as opposed to if you have it as the server default, um, then it will come from the Studio Ninja email address, which doesn't look very professional. Um, so I highly recommend uh, adding your own Gmail or, or using an S, uh, SMTP server settings uh, to connect your email uh, if you don't use Gmail. Um, then you've got your email signature, so you can add an email signature in there. Uh, you can put images in and you know, do all the kind of sort of basic formatting. And then you can sort of say whether to receive email notifications when clients complete a task in the portal, which is really useful. So if you're waiting for someone to, to accept a quote or sign a contract, once they do, you'll get an email to let you know that it's all signed and you can go, woohoo, excellent. Invoice and payment settings. So this is where, you know, early on where we saw um, where you can set up your payment schedules. Um, payment reminders you can have. I don't have these set per personally because my clients differ quite a lot. So, um, but you know, again, if you, because I work commercially, you know, every company is different. But uh, you know, if you are a wedding photographer or portrait photographer, uh, and you, you know, you, you you have told every client that you want to be paid on this on, on this day, then you can set up a reminder. Um, to email them once it's sort of seven days late and every so many days after that, okay? Um, and then payment receipts. So you can automatically send receipts after credit card payments have been processed. And that's where you put your information in here. And then you've got your invoice IDs, okay? So this is basically, you can personalize what your invoice uh, numbers will look like. Uh, moving on, we've got payment methods. So I currently have uh, Stripe activated for credit card payments, um, uh, but you can also accept um, payments via PayPal and then bank transfer uh, we've got here. So, you know, this is where you put all your bank details in so people can actually pay you. Um, and then you can also do other as well. So <laughs> I like what it says there, or for you vintage lovers by fax. Um, so you can do checks or whatever it may be, but no one uses those anymore. Um, and moving on, we've got contact forms. Now, the contact forms are absolutely incredible. Um, if I click on this one here, which is my main one. Uh, so the contact form, you can customize this pretty much to your heart's content. Um, you know, you, could, you can put in sort of first names, surname, email, what services that they require, how they heard about you, so on and so forth. Um, if you're in the EU or Europe, you've got the GDPR. Uh, consent button here uh, and so you can add in loads of other different bits and pieces if you want to uh, even things like multi-line messages or single line messages and then you can even style your form as well so this shows you what your form is going to look like um, so we can say 
right, we want to change the, you know, the font and um, I'm not going to change any of this because I don't want it to be changed. But you can change your colorings and all sorts of different things. And then when you go to configure, um, this is where you say, right, you know, what text is going to show up uh, once someone submits the form. Um, do you want them to be redirected after form submission? Uh, that's one thing I am going to be setting up soon. Um, so, because as it says there, this is really, really good for conversion tracking. Um, and then you can do autoresponders as well. So, you know, once, you know, once they filled out the form, they can automatically receive a particular email. Okay. Uh, exit and don't save. Okay. Um, moving on, we've got lead sources. So this is where you put all your lead sources in and you can color coordinate them, um, which is important because obviously these are all gonna be showing up in that pie chart, which is on your dashboard. Uh, job types. So you've got all your different job types. Again, you know, you've got um, color coordination here. You can set a particular one as a default. As I mentioned earlier, I'm primarily a virtual tour photographer. That's most of the work that I get. Um, so I've got that set as my default and then labels. Uh, this is basically if you want to rename certain things the way that it's worded. So if you don't want it to be called main shoot, for example, I've got mine called shoot date uh, and then so on and so forth. And then integrations, they do integrate with quite a few different companies. Um, I've got mine synced with QuickBooks, uh, which is absolutely amazing because what happens is once I complete an invoice, um, or an invoice is created, it automatically adds that invoice into QuickBooks for me, uh, which saves me a ton of time. Um, and then once that invoice is paid by bank transfer, um, I see the, uh, the amounts come into my bank and then it will automatically connect that and I can reconcile it from there, which is, which is really handy. Um, I also use Shootproof, um, which is a gallery software, uh, which, which is absolutely incredible. And um, I'll pop a link to the to shoot proof in the description below for you guys, so you can take a look at that. Um, and then also Pick Time, which is another gallery provider, Zero, which is accounting again. And these ones, I'm not too sure. Um, haven't heard of them before, but you know, you've got your you know, quite a few integrations there. And then finally, at the bottom here, you've got your templates. So this is all of your email templates you can create. Okay, um, I've got a few a few set up, um, but these are really really handy when it comes into sort of the, the workflow side of things. Um, you've got appointment reminders, so you can automatically send a reminder to someone, you know, x a number of days before your appointment date, just to say, right, I'm looking forward to seeing you. This is this is what I do is is, is I sort of send them the uh, the photo shoot reminder two days before, um, just to say, you know, get everything ready, so on and so forth. Um, and then we've got products and packages. So I'm going to blur this out, but uh, this basically gives you uh, an overview of all of your products um, and packages. You can create packages. So if you know, say again, for wedding photographers, uh, you could have a uh, sort of a gold package, a bronze or silver or whatever, however you want to name it. Uh, and then people can choose from within that. And then I think they're also to add in um, extras as well on there if they want to. So you can upsell them sort of photo books and so on and so forth. Um, and then moving further down, you've got your individual products that you can list um, and everything like that. So uh, quote and invoice templates. So this is what we looked at earlier on. You know, you can have templates or sort of quotes and um, pick and choose for uh, sort of use in the future. It's a huge time saver. And then you can do invoice templates as well, which is great. Um, contracts, uh, I've only got one really that I use, um, but there's some sample ones that, that they have included in here as well, which is really useful because I mean, in fact, I have been messaged quite a few times asking me, you know, can I share my contract with, with somebody else because they're struggling to find one, so on and so forth. So, you know, this is a, 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 good, a good sort of base to start from. Um, questionnaire templates. So if we just have a look at one of these that I've set up. So this is just a few, a few questions just saying, you know, have they got a, a, a logo, a company logo that I can add to the tour? Uh, will they need an embed code? Uh, when are they hoping to get it up and running by and everything like that? 
uh, it basically just means that everyone's sort of on the same page and you know we're all organized and then finally this is the the big one is the workflow side of things so um, what I'm going to do is add a new workflow quickly okay demo demo workflow okay so what we're going to do from here is we're going to say this is the basic one so these are all the ones that you basically need to have in your workflow um, because it's the important stuff, you know, job's been accepted, this is your shoot date and the job's complete. But let's say, right, so lead created, um, I want to automatically send follow up email. Task sends an email, like so, automatically three days after the lead is, is completed. There we go. So that's our first step. And then we can say, right, I'm going to do a follow-up call. So let's say call to chase up email. So this doesn't have a, a, a due date. This will basically, I can just put this one in as a manual one. So we need to pull this up because it hasn't got any date attached to it. Um, and then I could go on forever really. Um, but I think you guys get the idea with it really. I mean, these workflows can be very, very, very useful just to keep everything you know, running smoothly within your business, staying in touch with your customers um, and making sure that all the jobs are done and, and, uh, and ticked off. So I think that covers everything on here. So let's go back to Nick for some final words. So that's a wrap. I hope that was helpful. Uh, I appreciate a, a lot of information to take on board, um, but I can assure you that the software is so easy to use. It's amazing. And as mentioned in the video, I do have a promo code available, which will actually give you 20% off. So uh, I, I put the, the code in the video itself, but I'll also pop the code in the description of the video below. So if you uh, want to use that, then please do. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video and take care.